Hey guys, welcome back for another video. As you guys can see, this video is Karate Kid themed. Got the Cobra Kai tank top, got the daniel uh, headband, and I'm ready to head out. I'm gonna head out to the Toy Depot. You guys might know it as the Halloween Depot. It's the same location, but different show. They're, this one's kind of specializing in like retro toys and you know modern toys and stuff like that. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Gonna go check it out, see what's up. And Sean Cannon, who you guys might know as Mike Barnes from Karate Kid 3, will be there. So, yeah, I'm all ready to meet him. Freaking excited. And, uh, yeah, let's go freaking head out. All right, guys, I just parked outside of uh, Toy Slash Halloween Depot. <laughs> My buddy uh, Saad's uh, going to be on his way soon. He has to pull some money out the bank, you know. Um, so, yeah, probably... Just gonna chill here for a little bit and start making a line. There's like literally nobody here yet. Um, only like the vendors, you know, coming in, I see, um, putting all their stuff, you know, organizing and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pretty fun show, hopefully. Hopefully I find something uh, something cool for my collection, you know, like a, some cool NECA figures or even like some retro figures would be cool, something like that. I'm hoping to pick something up, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, pretty freaking excited. And uh, my buddy Asad will be here soon. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go make line already. And then uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what they have inside. And hopefully it's a, hopefully it's a fun event this time around. And uh, again, meeting Sean Cannon, uh, Mike Barnes, you know, the tournament terror, Mike Barnes from Karate Kid 3. That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Hated his freaking character. Um, he was such a dick um, to, you know, LaRusso, but Hey, that just means he, he did his job, man. He was supposed to be hated, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty freaking excited to meet that dude. Um, hopefully, uh, everything goes good. And, yeah, see you guys soon. What's That one there? Yeah. Um, okay, the one where Ralph has signed it and I signed it for you is 200, and then the one where I signed it is 60, if you just want me. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Just okay. 60. And uh, that yeah, that one. That one, yeah, that one over there. Thanks, guys. Um, what's your zip code? 86053. Uh, what color would you like to sign it? Uh, yeah, silver. I Silver's think, good, yeah. You think it would pop? Silver? So, uh, yeah. yeah. Silver looks really nice up here. Black looks good here. Silver looks good here. Whichever you want. What do you think? I like the black. You like the black? Okay. Yeah, let's go with black. Uh, I'm sorry, tell me your name again. Oh, uh, Kristen. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. 
S T I T I A N. T. Okay, how about uh, There you go, brother. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Awesome. And you, uh, you said sixty, correct? Yeah, sixty. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if I can afford more than thirty-five. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you negotiate pretty hard, huh? Uh, there you go. Yeah, this is, I don't know if you got one of these before. It's oh, uh, so guys so picked up a few things uh, at the Toy Depot and uh, yeah got to meet Sean Cannon as you guys saw uh, he's pretty freaking pretty cool man uh, seemed uh, pretty down to earth to be honest with you guys so yeah it's pretty pretty nice meeting them uh, my buddy Assad and uh, you know we all got to meet him so yeah he was pretty cool checked out uh, a good amount of stuff that you guys saw at the Toy Depot and yeah uh, I'm about to show you guys what I what I picked up all right, everybody, I'm back home from uh, Toy Depot. Had a freaking blast hanging out, and uh, yeah, got a good amount of compliments actually on my both my headband and my uh, Cobra Kai, you know, tank. It's uh, the whole gi thing, but uh, yeah. And I guess I know it's conflicting because I'm wearing like you know technically Miyagi Do and freaking Cobra Kai, but I don't give a shit. It's hot, and that's like the main reason why I was wearing this too freaking headband. Uh, it's actually for working out, so. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> enough goofing off. I'm going to show you guys uh, the, some of the stuff I picked up. And here you guys have the autograph I picked up from Sean Cannon, a.k.a. Mike Barnes from Karate Kid 3. I had him write to Christian, get on that line, I own you. You guys can see he's trash-talking LaRusso in that scene. Ah, oh, man. This guy... Growing up, I gotta say, like, I, I could not stand this dude. I hated his character. Such an ass. Like, I wanted Danny to just whoop his ass. Every time he went to, you know, the bonsai store and just, like, mess with him to fight in the tournament and stuff. Ah, but, hey, that means he was just doing his job, right? So, can't really, uh, as an adult, I understood that now, <laughs> you know? So, so yeah, can't really uh, hate on the guy for doing his job well so yeah and he was super cool to meet uh being nice to all the fans and stuff he had a uh pretty good turnout uh, i have to say so yeah there's uh, obviously a bunch of cobra kai fans and you know <clears throat> speculation that uh he will be in the new season uh apparently you know it's not confirmed or anything and i'm sure tons of people asked him but you know i didn't want to be that guy i'll just wait and see you know what i mean 
I'll wait, find out for myself. Um, that way it'll be a nice surprise, you know? If it is, cool. Uh, if he isn't, then, you know, that way I won't be disappointed. But, uh, but yeah, super nice dude. Um, now, uh, I'm hoping we get more uh, Karate Kid slash, you know, Cobra Kai cast like meeting uh, i was talking to my buddy aside meeting like terry silver next would be freaking amazing if they ever got him you know hollywood show i'm looking at you because i know they uh i know they've had uh karate kid reunions before so maybe uh at the next hollywood show they might be able to get you know daniel and johnny and uh increase or something like that that'd be freaking cool but uh yeah finally got uh actually you know what this is my first karate kid autograph out of like any of the cast now that i think about it so that's pretty freaking cool i got a got a pretty rare name you know because i don't think i've ever seen him do that many shows that many conventions and stuff like that so that that kind of leads me more to believe you know it's kind of a little suspect like hmm new season of cobra kai is coming out soon so all of a sudden you know what i mean <laughs> so but like i said i'll wait and see so uh yeah there you guys have it and now I'm gonna show you some stuff I picked up at uh, at Toy Depot while I was there for this meet and greet. And one of the things I picked up at the Toy Depot, uh, one of the vendors, uh, this dude handcrafts like a bunch of stuff, a bunch of neat stuff. And in keeping with the, uh, you know, Cobra Kai theme, because obviously uh, Mike Barnes was there signing, he decided uh, he was gonna custom make some Cobra Kai matching uh coasters so you guys see here and these are like i love look at the detail on that that's freaking awesome these are like handcrafted hand painted you guys can see some of like the wear and tear on the back from you know the whole process um but yeah look handcrafted hand painted you can imagine how much freaking time that took to like do this check this one out Got the Cobra Kai logo. And again, look at the detail. That's freaking cool. So um, for me, this was like perfect because um, cause I, I love coasters. Like anytime I can pick up some cool coasters of, you know, whatever it is, like horror or video games or TV shows and movies I like, uh, I always pick some up because I'm real iffy about having stuff like on my table and stuff you know just like cold drinks i don't like you know they leave a ring so i'm real picky about that so yeah these were a must for me so that's uh these things are pretty freaking sweet and the main thing i purchased i uh, was real freaking happy about this one because i've been searching for this thing for a while now um yeah <laughs> every time i go to the stores and try to you know be on the hunt for it i can never find it for whatever reason uh but yeah finally freaking picked up this uh batman replica you know batarang replica and uh so you guys can see here check it out been wanting this thing for like forever so ever since it came out so has the uh authentic movie detailing it's like screen accurate uh, and you can extend i i didn't know it could do that until they actually like I saw the actual box. I'm like, what the fuck? But, um, but yeah. And then it comes with its own uh, display stand. I don't know if I even want to take it out, to be honest. I kind of just want to, like, leave it in the box. But knowing me, I'm going to get tempted, um, you know. So I, I am going to eventually, eventually want to, like, open the box and actually, like, you know, check it out. And see, um, I've heard it's, it's not, like, die-cast metal or anything. But it's kind of, like, a heavier um, type of plastic from what I heard so uh so yeah freaking might check it out uh they are coming out with other batman movie replicas which i love because this is like one of my all-time favorite movies you know i love uh the 89 batman so yeah this for me like i think for anybody that loves that movie this is like a must-have if you're a if you're a collector so yeah anyway there you guys go this was uh, the main thing i picked up super freaking happy with it uh now i don't have to you know be on the lookout for it at the stores anymore so yep and with that being said that's gonna wrap up this video guys thank you guys for watching uh if you guys want to check out 
the show, at least, you know, the location. Halloween Depot, uh, I do believe they're having their next show this following weekend. So, uh, so yeah, check that out. I, I believe it's the Horrorville show, and I do think it's uh, the last one from what I heard. It's the last one in that location uh, for this year. So be on the lookout for that. You guys can follow them, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, get all the info. Uh, but yeah, that might, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last one for the year. So if you guys want to go pick up some cool uh, horror stuff, you know, this one was mostly, as you guys saw, it was mostly different. Uh, it was like retro toys. Uh, that was kind of the theme of this one, which I love. And uh, yeah, you guys saw what I picked up. Uh, been wanting that damn batarang for a while so uh yeah i finally saw it i'm like hey i'm here right <laughs> so might as well pick it up but um yeah as always thank you guys for watching uh, i do appreciate it and uh like i said i do these videos for fun you know so yeah just thanks seriously thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys for the next video